putting on this cap heater on this John Deere 1966 3020. Our old uh, heater here is no good, doesn't work anymore. We got some pretty cold temperatures coming up, so we're gonna put the new one on, so it should be ready to start up and go. So I got both lines blocked off, got both clamps here let go. So we're just gonna pop this old one off quick. So that's all we do is check our antifreeze before winter comes. But we got some about negative 29 to 30 degree weather that they're saying is coming up. So I'm gonna double check it one more time. I just got a little antifreeze tester here, sticker in there. All right guys, so I just picked a little bit up here and it looks like our reading is right between the negative 20 to negative 29. So we should be perfectly good to go. It's not gonna be negative 30 for long. So not, a, not long enough for it to break anything. And our antifreeze looks like it'll take it up to that. So we should be good to go there. So we'll get the heater put in, get her warmed up and get her started. So I know this is not the right way to do it, but this is all we got for tools here. So I'm gonna pull up the bottom line and what you wanna do is really get this thing filled up so that when you plug it in, it doesn't burn it out right away. So I'm gonna take this bottom one off right away and put it right onto the new one. We'll see how stuck on there she is. Well, she's gonna come off pretty good it looks like. There we go guys, and just like that, one line is on. So now we'll pop this top one off, put the top one on too. Alright guys, and just like that, both lines are on. So I'll take the vice grips off, make sure I didn't damage the hoses too bad, slide the clamps back on, and we'll plug it in and get her circulating. One thing you guys also don't want to do is over tighten these hose clamps. Happens a lot, but just snug is pretty good. Alright guys, so just like that she's good to go. I'll put it in this bracket kind of how we had it. We'll plug it in and see if she works. For the first time, see if she works. And coming in close, maybe you might, should be able to get it kick on. And there you go. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but. She is circulating, so we'll wait probably like a half hour, maybe an hour, and this little dog should be ready to start up, so we'll see you guys then with hopefully a running tractor. All right, guys, I forgot to add, this kit came with a little holder here for it, but it was red, so did not want to put that on the green tractor, and that would look terrible, so didn't do that. Came with one of these in case you got more hoses. A bunch of brand new clamps and stuff. I didn't use these, I just decided to go with the old ones, and a set of directions, so... Nice little kit, picked it up at Baumgar, so she should work good.